well. I feel very honored to be a savvy woman because um, you only get one of them a month. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, and it's obviously uh, something that's very close to my heart because Magna as a group, uh, I've grown up with my entire career has been stardust and savvy and, you know, all these wonderful um, publications that a society and, you know, it, it was so integral to our childhood because that's all there was. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have any other form of any other medium that informed us as to what was going on um, in the world of glamour and entertainment and it was a big high to be on the cover of a magazine and Magna cover was like the premium and you just wanted to be there and so it's so nice I mean I was um, I've been on a couple of Magna covers before but to think that Pachi Sal Baad you're still on the cover it's, so, it's wonderful yeah. <laughs> some people find money hot some people find power hot some people find looks hot so it really depends on what you version of hot is what do you find hot Pooja? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> who wants to fit the bracket <laughs> you know i grew up uh, as a rebel to that so uh you know while most kids were rebelling against their parents and smoking cigarettes and possibly doing drugs uh i grew up not doing cigarettes and not doing drugs because i saw so much of that around me growing up so i think i think my parents heralded the whole flower power generation which was the whole sex drugs rock and roll and free spirit and hippie culture and you know so i i grew up in an environment where all that was very normal artists and thinkers and philosophers and painters and you know that whole space was there and and, and strangely, I remember being very young and saying, you know, this is all fine, but I was very tiny. And I still remember that moment when I said, I never want any of this in my life. Uh, my mother would always say, I've given birth to such a backward child, you know. <laughs> so, my mom wasn't happy about me joining films. Uh, she she was aghast because she said, you know, I was number one in my school. I was a class topper. Um, I signed the Book of Honor, you know. Um, so for her, it was like, you're so intelligent. Why do you want to join the industry? You know, I've asked that question so much and there was this one point of time, my daughter was very young and uh, she turned around and said, no yaar or something like that to me. And I looked at her and I said, Alia, don't call me yaar, I'm not your friend. And there was a stunned silence when she looked at me and I said, I said, I'm your mother, I'm not your friend. I can be a friendly mother. I can be friendly, I can be a support system, I can be all of that, which your friends also are. But I am your mother. Well, actually, I've uh, thanked you for the compliment, firstly. Uh, secondly, I've lost about 13 kilos in 13 weeks. Uh, I suddenly decided to change my life in, in May this year. I decided that was it. I was done. I ended a relationship in May. And I said, I just want to reinvent my life. You know, I just, you know, the child in me. I want things to be different. I want to create major catharsis and change. A lot of people have issues with money. A lot of people say, I don't know why. I don't, can't earn the way I earn. I don't have the job that I choose to have. I'm not earning the kind of money I should. Because your relationship with money suddenly is fundamentally flawed. A lot of people in India, for example, have more a fear of, of uh, success than they have a failure. Because in India, the way we grow up is we see rich people as bad people. We see them as the immoral lot, ayash hai, immoral hai, you know, uh, decadent lifestyles. They are so we are simple, nice, middle class people. Right? That's generally <laughs> what people say. Really? Are you trying to say that if the rich have uh, um, uh, affairs, that the poor people don't have affairs? Are you trying to say that if drugs is done by rich people, you're saying middle class and poor people don't do drugs? Are you trying to say that, that you know, if somebody has two wives in an in a upper class society, that anyone on a poor level doesn't have two wives? Are you saying that, you know, are you trying to say that, you know, uh, that there's actually a difference there isn't there is no difference everyone is doing the same things but creating the sense of i'm good and they are bad so these limitations limit you and and whatever you seek to achieve because if for example a great opportunity comes your way which enables you to earn money to become rich you will self-sabotage the entire process because in your mind and your upbringing and your conditioning if you become rich you become bad because that's the way you've grown up You've grown up thinking rich equals bad. Why would you want to be a bad person? Therefore, why would you want to be a rich person? So these limiting belief systems need to be changed.